first person, I mean, you're not even going to really be, really be able to tell that it's got edges, really. I mean, I have used a bit too many polygons, but... Anyway, this is coming up to the 36-minute part. I'm, I could just add a small part. I know there's a button on here somewhere. Yep, there's a button here. I'm just actually going to create a really quick button. I'm going to start with a new plane. It's going to go to my overview so I can pull it out a bit. Because at the moment it's on the same level. I'm just going to apply the transparent material to it. Change to black, obviously. I mean, everyone's got a lot of black. And now I'm going to convert it to an editable, editable polygon. Now I'm just going to add verts where I think I'll be using them. And start to shape it around. Don't want this like ending at a sharp edge. In fact, I'm going to need a full transparency and I want it to look a bit better. So I'm going to change my tra transparency to best so I can see fully what it looks like. Try and make this less blunt. In fact, I'm going to need one more. Just like that. Oops. Ah, sorry. This isn't really changing the sh shape of this very much to kind of get more use out of it, really. And that's about right. Just go to the border. That just basically selects a border. <laughs> I'll go to the hair. I can center it in the middle, so I know for a fact that I'm going to be changing the thing from the middle. Just like this. Come down here. I'll just change these a little bit just to position them a bit better. Because at the moment they're positioned a bit offline. I mean, you need to think about how the actual geometry is going to flow out of the object. I mean, just to get the angles right. I mean, if it was down here like this, then that'd be crap. I mean, you need to actually have it flowing outwards properly to make it look good. That's a bit big. Let's shrink it down a bit. Select, select the border again. Come back in here. Make sure it's not see-through. One sec, my camera's just a bit messed up, so I'm just going to sort it out. Ah, it's still messed up. Sorry, that gets to a point where you can't zoom in anymore. It's still doing it. That's better. Right, in fact, I'm just going to make this button quite big. Cause it's just going to go straight through the geometry. In fact, that looks crap. It's way too big. I really need to bring this up. Um, crap. I'm going to bring this up because it doesn't need to be that low. Try to think what else I can do to try and get more of an edge here. Cause it doesn't look like it's actually that much, but when you get to this point, it's really a lot. I mean, I could just bring it up slightly. I mean, I'm changing it here, but I'll slide this on in a second. But now I'm not really using it. Ah, this is so annoying. Um, think, 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 think. Could just get away with. Um, I suppose it's not all that bad. I mean, this has got a small little button. I could just do it like that. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I suppose it is quite big. In fact, I've actually just noticed that the top of it's a lot more smooth than what I've made, so I'm just going to extrude the top of it and just make it a bit smaller. Just to give it a bit more of a smoother edge. I'm not going to bother playing with it because I haven't really gone much time. It kind of looks a lot better now. Oh, that's going to have to do. 
now, as you can see, kind of got this flowing around. I need to. Bring this up from after I changed it. I think this is going to conclude this VTM. Basically, just got a side of the weapon sorted. I mean, I've got this flowing around here. I've got everything to start modeling this actual area here, and then I can just basically just drag these down and just make sure it flows along lines along here. And this part, this part could get a bit complex, but I can use this these here to actually just bend around and then just carry on going down and then bend around the back. I mean, if you you can see how I'm like thinking ahead already. I mean, if I, I'll just quickly show you, in fact, how quick I could do it. I mean, I could just bring these down. I mean, this is really fast. And then I could get these here. and bring these around as well and then interlink these with that here kind of just showing you what I mean like that and then carry on around the back that kind of just shows you quickly how I could how I really fast I could do it to kind of undo all these in fact I ain't got enough undo so I'm just going to delete them I should have deleted any of my model. In fact, that's going to conclude this VTM. Hopefully you've learned something. Next VTM, we're going to start modeling this area here, this area here, and the last part... After we've done that part, I'm going to do an another VTM on the magazine, and then another VTM on the top of the weapon, and then maybe another VTM on optimizing and creating little parts, like the screws and stuff like that. Right, anyway, I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed it.